Hello, and welcome to another episode of Shampoo and Booze. This is episode number 81. Can you believe it? Shampooandbooze.com. You can see us on YouTube. You can subscribe. You can leave comments. YouTube.com slash Shampoo and Booze. We want to see your listings. You can email us, shampooandbooze at gmail.com. We would love to review your Airbnb or short-term rental. You can see our design services at notperf.com. We can do this not on video. We can just work with you directly on your Airbnb, help you redo stuff, redesign, whatever. Let's talk about it. Okay, today we are in Greenbrier, West Virginia. Dave sent us his entire house listing. It's super cute. Let's check it out. Okay, Dave. Um, again, Airbnb gallery view. I feel like we're seeing too much of the front of the house. So we need a little bit of sprinkling of other parts of the house here, I think. There are so many different kinds of properties, right? Like there are ones that have really strong um, curb appeal. There are places that have like beautiful gardens and, you know, you can see the mountains. And then there are other places that have much stronger interiors. You know, the area is really amazing and the inside of the house is incredible. So for this property, I would say, let's see more of the inside of your house before we see the outside of your house. Right. And look, I love the porch. Like, I love a porch like that. I love that you have a metal roof. I love that you painted it a bright, cheery yellow. Um, the one thing I will say that sticks out in the front of the house is the chimney. So if you have a working chimney or it's worked in the past, um, you might get some of that creosote sort of rust colored stuff coming down, which you can see. So you can, if it's not being used now, you can paint it so that you don't see that or you can brick it up, which is very expensive, but still could look really cute. Um, so that's kind of the first thing that I'm seeing on the first picture. So I think that's, that's something, um, that you could fix. Or if you use another picture, the other pictures don't show that, uh, the angle that they're at, you can't see the chimney. So maybe you use an angle like that instead. Uh, I do want to talk about the price, $46 a night for an entire house seems really cheap to me like too cheap i don't know if like there aren't very many airbnbs or there are lots of them so you're competing but that price seems very very low to me i definitely want to come stay and bring a ton of people because that price is crazy now these other two photos we're seeing the exact same thing here so there's three photos in a row showing the exact same thing you need to pick one it looks like there was that kind of gravel uh, raised bed that was added. Uh, okay. Um, right. So just use, just choose one. And choose one. the other thing I would say in terms of a long-term goal is, you know, put some potted plants out there. Um, if you're not going to do any more extensive landscaping, like a big arranged potted plant, you're in Virginia. So it's not like there's super hard overwintering that happens. So there are a lot of um, outdoor plant options for you. West Virginia. I West only Virginia. say that because I'm in Virginia and people get yeah. confused. And you're like, no, 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 different state. Yeah, I'm, I'm showing my Yankee card here. <laughs> so this is good to know, attached covered carport, but this does not need to be one of the first photos. This needs to be at the end when you're wrapping up, hey, we have a covered porch, which is awesome. When there's weather, when there's rain, you come in and you're like good to go with all your groceries and your luggage. Cool. Put this at the back. Okay. Living room and dining room. This is an odd photo because you're kind of sh not showing either room. You're showing both of them um, and you're showing it in a vertical way. So I feel like this photo, like I love how Ashley always says this, it's not giving us enough information of either space. So I feel like this photo should just go and get replaced by other photos that we see. Yeah, it's like when you, when you are introducing people to the interior of the house, you don't wanna immediately confuse them. And this picture kind of does that. Okay, so here's the living room. Again, you're taking photos, and I understand why you're taking photos vertically, because you're like, look at the ceiling beams and the lights, 
and the wood and the couch and you're fitting it all in. But I feel like you need to take a step back and like take a landscape style, uh, not portrait, but landscape. Because this just, I don't know, there's something about those horizontal, uh, I'm sorry, vertical photos that just, it, it looks squished or something. So you see the difference between those photos? Like there's so much warmth and like human size scale going on here. Like these two, like this looks really cold, I guess, cause I'm seeing too much of the wall. Like these two, it's the exact same space and it feels so different. Except I think what's happening here, I could be totally wrong, but I think in the first picture, the couch is like smushed all the way. See how it's all the way up to the wall? Yeah. Um, so it, maybe it was when you first put the couch in there. And then the next picture, it's like actually the space in use. Ah. So that's like a whole different universe. Um, I would say the other thing is we've noted this throughout the house, but it feels like some of these pictures weren't staged actually. They were just taken like while you were working on the house or while maybe you were living in the house or staying in it yourself. Because like over on the left side, we see just a bunch of like cushions and random things and it just feels a little bit uncapped. So if yeah. we're gonna take staged pictures of the house, we should make sure that everything in the picture is actually staged. Right, so it looks like there's, I mean, it looks like a dirty dog bed actually on the left. So it's kind of like, yeah, you gotta retake a photo without that there. Um, if that's something you provide for people's dogs or something, fine, but like, we don't need to see it in the living room. So another, so <laughs> another living room photo, uh, we already kind of know this space. Like, I feel like this photo is enough. Here's the living room. It's cozy. You're hanging out. Um, this is extra. This is not needed. Um, the only thing that might be helpful in a photo like the last one that you showed is it looks like there's a door to a bedroom potentially or a door to something. And this is where the description could be helpful if you decided to take another picture like this, wider angle, you know, more information. You could actually say in the description, what are we looking at? What rooms are in accessible to the living room? Exactly. Now you have a fireplace insert. You have like a wood stove insert. This looks like a beautiful wood stove, um, actually. But again, captions. So fireplace. Can people use this? Do you provide firewood? Um, I'm hesitant to say that you want people to use this, <laughs> but that's just me. Like I, in all of my rentals, have closed up all the fireplaces because I just do not trust people to understand how to how to start an indoor fire. Um, but if that's not the case for you, you should be clear in your in your description here. Okay, so this is photo number ten. We're still in the living room. Um, this photo, I don't know what is up with this photo, but it's like super pixelated. It's cool that you're showing a Roku and it's a 70 inch TV. So that's huge. So if people are hanging out on a rainy day or whenever at night watching a movie, this is a great setup, you know, this is awesome. But the photo is like a little bit crazy. Now you show the, you show the TV again. Now you could just use this one. Um, it's a nice, nicer, cleaner photo. And this photo looks, I don't know what happened to this photo. Uh, the other thing I was going to say about the television setup is it, there are a lot of wires happening and you took so much time to, you know, like frame this out and make it beautiful. And then it's like, it feels like there are a lot of uh, wires going on. So one thing that you can do is you can get one of those wire, um, what do you call them? It's like a cable organizer. A cable organizer, thank you. And maybe bring everything to one side and bring it down the side um, and just organize it in a way that visually kind of cleans up this beautiful space that you made. You obviously have a, like you said, newly remodeled kitchen here. It's beautiful. Everything looks brand new. However, there's like someone's sandal over in front of like 
couple of sandals and then there's like trash on the on the countertop like just like Ashley was saying you just maybe you just cleaned you're just doing little touches here and there to get this place ready for Airbnb but that stuff is all over the place so you really need to get that stuff out of your photos it just looks messy and this one also there's like a plastic bag there's a drill like clearly you were putting up this under counter lighting which I think is a nice touch that you have under counter lighting it's just weird that we have two photos like here's two exact same thing like this one's fine uh, except for all the stuff in there. So we went back and forth about this. On the one hand, it's really great to know what's in the cabinets. And on the other hand, it feels a little bit like uh, unfinished again. So it's like the this particular one has like a drill or drill bits and, you know, screws. And it's sort of like maybe you just came back from target and you put everything in the drawer and you're really excited about it you know so it it's there's enthusiasm there for sure um but it feels unfinished again so you know maybe you use one of these photos like this one doesn't necessarily tell me anything more than the last one did um maybe you have some other elegant way to show that it's a fully furnished kitchen and you have uh, lots of implements, cooking implements available. Um, but if you're going to use a picture like this, I would say use one and move the screws. <laughs> now, I will say that Ashley and I both have stayed in Airbnbs that didn't have any of these things. So in a way, this is great because I stay at Airbnbs so that I can save money and I can cook. And, you know, so this is great. However, in your photos here, these these descriptions these captions are going to allow you to say we have a fully stocked kitchen you can cook i always love to say you can cook thanksgiving dinner here and it's not a problem this is not a bad photo but you can convey that look this is a full kitchen there i see there's a dishwasher there's a stove there's a microwave there's a coffee maker we're gonna assume that you have these things um if you don't that would be weird uh, but you can just say that in your captions. Yeah, this picture doesn't tell us anything. In fact, it it makes me feel like uh, there's like not even an organizer for the silverware. Like that's that that could be easily acquired. We should assume that you have this. And I I do want to say this. It looks like you bought one set of silverware, like from IKEA, which I usually do too. I'm like one set of silverware, but it's actually only like four forks. So if there are like eight people staying here, there's actually not enough for people. So buy, I always say, Jay, Jay's like, we got to buy two sets. Like if you get like the okay feeling set at Ikea, they're not that expensive. So just buy two of them. So you need more silverware. Bathroom photos are hard to take. This is a cute bathroom. Bathroom photos are never good. Oh, there's a hook by the shower. I love it. Love it. Uh, it looks like the like long link mirror hasn't been put up yet. So again, these this is classic, right? It's like you're putting this house together while you're listing it. So we get it. We're not, <laughs> yeah. you know, we're not strangers to that that um, theme. But again, like take polished pictures. This is a cute photo. This is a cute bathroom. It's great. You did look. I know if you fully renovated this, I know how much work it took, and I know how much money it took. Um, recessed lighting, you know, new fixtures, new everything. So kudos to you. The ba the door looks matching like linens. You. Yeah, all that stuff. The the door looks like you painted it a beautiful red. Half bath and master bedroom. Now this is interesting. See, I always kind of love it when a bedroom. So the, number one, we haven't seen any of the bedrooms yet. So we're eighteen photos in, have not seen mm -hmm. a single bedroom. This is just a bathroom in the bedroom. And I love that you put the sink in the bedroom. I actually love that. It's like classic hotel style, but yeah, it's great. If someone's in the bathroom and you're like, I want to brush my teeth, you can. There it is. Yeah. I would say, well, let's see. What's the, is there another picture of this? Okay. So that is the master bedroom. Okay. So there are no more pictures of how that relates to the rest of the room. I would say if, that is as close to the bed as I think it might be. I would say do something like put up a panel 
like next to that area maybe just to right. sort of give it its own space and separate it from the rest of the living space. Yeah, you could get a room. It's like a room separator. Like I mm -hmm. don't know if they have them at Target. There's a million of them on Amazon. Just to give it, like you said, if someone's getting dressed and someone's brushing their teeth, it's a little bit separate. I love that it's in the room. I think that's great. Um, but yeah, so this is the master bedroom. So information we need. What size bed is this? Like put it, Ashley taught me this. She's like, put the size of the bed in the caption. Is, it looks like a queen. Is it a queen size bed? Just put it in the caption. So now you do put it in the caption here, twin bed and second bedroom. So, I mean, it's obviously a twin bed, but you're very clear. This is the size of the bed in the other bedroom. Now it looks like these are two different rooms, second bedroom, front bedroom. I also feel like I want a different angle. I, there looks like there's a dresser in here, but I don't know that. Yeah, what are the amenities in each of these bedrooms? I also feel like there needs to be artwork somewhere on this wall because it looks very beige. And maybe a rug. And maybe a little rug. Like you could just even do a little rug in front of the bed, like a little, mm -hmm. you know, three by five or something. Especially also, I saw in your reviews that people bring dogs. Um, so if, unless you're fine with, people's dogs sleep in your bed it's kind of nice to have rugs on the floor because they will sleep on the rugs instead right it also looks like that little bedside lamp um has not been unwrapped like there's plastic on both of them so yeah like Ashley said polished photos like if you've been renting this Airbnb and it's clean and good to go retake photos of this stuff okay so it looks like we're done with the house and you are in a beautiful place. So I'm hoping that people are coming here for like outdoor recreation. Um, I would be very clear in this caption that this is not in your backyard. Just be clear how far away is it? Because um, you do say near Greenbrier River in your title. Um, but let's say how far away. Is it walkable? Do you have to drive? So I don't think you need this photo because we already have this one. So it looks like a train station. Oh, it's a train, train station. station. Um, but so is this a is this like an Amtrak stop that people can use? This is information that we want. Is it historical? Is it a little museum? Is it just cute to walk by? Let's get some info. Because can I take the Amtrak here from DC or something? That's huge. Super important information. Yeah. So just give that info. This is a historic bridge. What is the historic significance? Maybe say it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Maybe say that in your caption. Newly remodeled single. Oh, this is okay. So this photo says nothing to me. Yeah, this is like the default caption somehow. Right. The default, it's the title of the. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're like basically you're saying we have a cute little town which is fine. Although the problem with a picture like this, it's very seasonal. You're like Christmas happened. But if people are coming in the summer, this is not relevant. And this isn't a destination. Like if this was a destination in your town, some kind of like historic destination, like maybe add it, but this is not a destination. So I wouldn't add this photo. Yeah. You have a super cute house you, I know you put a lot of work into this, I can tell. So our advice to you is just clean it up a little bit. Like you were getting it ready, you wanted it on Airbnb. I've totally been there. You have 24 reviews, so people have stayed there. Um, so it's time, I think, to retake some of those photos. Um, and actually, now that I think about it, that dining room area with the chairs, um, we didn't even see that again outside of this little photo. So, so I feel like there's, in a way you should overtake photos and then go back and edit. That's what I do. Like I'll, I'll, I'll take like six different angles of a room and then I'm like, I look at them like 10 times and then I'm like, okay, this feels like the space. So I think that, that you can achieve that. I also think you should raise your price. Um, yes, $46 agreed. a night. I mean, 
are you even coming close to paying for any of those renovations with that price? You have 24 reviews. So you're established enough that I feel like you should be able to, you know, raise that price. Yeah. And maybe it depends on your area, but maybe it's like 75 a night, you know, like what, if you are able to accommodate five guests, I mean, that's completely a reasonable amount of money for someone to have a whole house for. Um, the other thing I would say is in terms of cleaning up the house and taking new pictures, I would say get a better camera. So whether that's borrowing someone's like brand new iPhone or, um, you know, something, borrowing a camera from someone um, to, to take better pictures. Because when I first saw this listing and we started to look through the house itself, I'm like, this house is adorable. But I wouldn't know that based on the pictures, the quality of the pictures um, and the way that you ordered them. So help us be oriented to the house in a way that feels as beautiful as it is. The other quick advice I, I want to give that we give everyone is draw up a little layout of the house so that people know uh, where, what bedroom is, where's the kitchen. And also, if you do have cool things in your area um, that people are coming for, the river, uh, a brewery, uh, a restaurant, whatever, make a little map and sh you can really show off your area like, hey, we're really close to downtown. You can walk to the river here's a brewery, here's a restaurant, here's the little breakfast place that you want to go to. Um, just so I know, what am I coming to your area for if, if I don't know already? Okay, that is it for episode 81. You can email us your listing. We want to see your listing, shampooandbooze at gmail.com. Leave comments. Please subscribe on YouTube. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. We're very close. YouTube.com slash shampooandbooze. Check out our design services, notperf.com, if you want to do this not on a video. Okay, bye. Thanks, bye.